How you doing guys? So we have one size truck, but we have five different size cans. And it's real important to haul each one of those cans safely. Meaning that the weight of the can is um, needs to be distributed between the front and the rear axle, not evenly, but safely. There's a big difference between evenly and safely. You don't want the same amount of weight on the front axle as you would the back axle. The reason is, is because the back axle is the back axle. This has a single axle truck. Some have, you know, uh, tandems. Some have single axle. This particular truck is a single axle truck, and you wouldn't want just as much weight on the back axle as you would want on the front axle. At least in this case, because the front axle of this truck is rated for 12,000 pounds, um, so it's rated for much less. Then the rear axle, which I believe on this truck is 21 or 23,000 pounds, um, you wouldn't want the same amount of weight on that as the front because, just like I said, that's rated for almost twice as much. So when you have different, when you have a shorter can, some cans are 12 feet long, some cans are 22 feet long, some cans are 16 feet long. You wouldn't want that dumpster coming on the truck to the same to the same spot every time because if you have a really long dumpster you wouldn't want to stop the dumpster far back and just say and the same thing if you had a really short dumpster you wouldn't want to bring the dumpster too far forward to the truck you want to stop the dumpster what's called a short stop and I'll explain how that works and why you do it so let's say you had a 10 yard dumpster full of concrete I wouldn't want to bring that 10 yard dumpster which is only 12 feet long all the way to the cab of the truck to this stop that's the one that's welded onto the truck and the um you know the you know you wouldn't need anything popping up or down for that one because that's where the dumpster um would come all the way as far forward as that could come you wouldn't want it any far forward it'd wind up into the cab of the truck so these are welded onto the truck that doesn't move and then you have sometimes you have one or two different short stops in this case this truck only has one short stop um, we have all of our, our cans made to where it would either go all the way forward or we have it stopping at this point to load the truck properly. Once again, you wouldn't want to overload the front axle. If you overload the front axle, um, there's lots of things that could happen. Well, first of all, you could break the truck. Bad. Second of all, you could have a um, you could be understeering or oversteering the vehicle. So if the, the can was too far forward, um, you could have not enough weight um, braking could be a problem all sorts of things could happen if you're too far forward if you're too far back which I've had by accident because you don't know what how every can is um, is loaded I've had cans that were 10 yard cans or 30 yard cans but everything's so far back the front axle you have really bad um, steering capabilities so um, so being being a um, a roll off driver, you almost have to be a little bit of an engineer every time you you know every time you get in the truck. So what happens is if you have a ten yard can, um, you, you would want to stop the can um, at your short stop. If you have a thirty yard can, you want to go all the way to the back. And they're real simple. You just if you have a short can, you hive it up. If you have a long can you fold them down obviously the the other one on the other side you would have to walk around the truck and 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 flip that down as well so long can goes all the way to the back short can stops at the short stop now there's another reason you want short stops and not to get too long-winded because my hair is getting messed up in the rain is that if you went too far forward um, your your can would miss your auto locker. So in this, see if you can see the other auto lockers up, this one's down, one's down, one's up, just because the truck is off and the air's out, and this one came down, um, and it won't go back up without air in the truck. So if you went pat, if you, so if you took the, the can on the truck, and it was only a 12 foot can, and you went all the way to the front of the cab, the back of your dumpster would miss this. So when you hit the short stops, the can is farther back, this will flip up like the other side does and then it locks your can in so there's a lot of reasons why you want short stops most of the time um, you know it's a 50 50 we have we have a lot of residential customers so we have the short stops up a lot on our trucks and if you um, ever driving around and you you see a, a short dumpster or um, you know a 10 yard or 20 um, or not a 30 or 40 yard can you'll notice that the the can goes all the way um, 
to the front of the cab and then when the cans are short they'll have some sort of short stop okay thanks for watching